Welcome to my Suzuki GS750 Calf Racer build. This week I'm going to be making a start on the custom seat and cow. So if you want to see how I've done that, then stick around. Right, where do I begin? Okay, so for those who are returning to the build series, thank you very much, much appreciated. For those of you who are new to the build series, hi, welcome along. You may want to refer back to episode three, I think it's the frame episode, where I give everyone a bit of a sneak peek of the seat cow that I made for the bike. Since then, there's been a bit of a change of plan. Yeah, so I'll get into that. Uh, to start off, we'll, I'll start with the, the construction of the, the seat cow. Um, so originally I bought a, a seat cow and base and seat for the bike and it, it looked fine, it, it fitted on. Um, the only issue I, well I had a few issues with it, um, I wasn't happy with the way the base conformed to the GS frame because the GS frame um, it tapers towards the front of the tank and obviously the, the base it was just completely square so there was there was gaps and I, I wasn't too happy with the, the look um, so basically what I've decided to do is cut the back of the cowl off and, and bin the base and make a brand new one yeah so I spent quite a bit of money on that I need to be cut up but it's looks at the end of the day, I've said this before, it's all, look, it's all about the looks. So, um, so yeah, the base was just completely cut off and I created a base that conformed to the GS frame. So that was just made out of like a, a pressed chipboard wood and some kind of stock wood for the sides. Just so it would, it would give me a gap for the electronics tray and obviously the cow would give it the look and obviously the room for the battery. Um, what I'll do next week, we'll go into how I've secured that base to to the bike because uh, that was also an issue with the, the plastic board one. Um, there wasn't, there was a way of securing it, but it just didn't work for the bike and what I've got here now. So uh, yeah, we'll go into that next week. Um, so yeah, I, I carried on and I I put the the foam over it and I cleaned it up and it was complete. Uh, I had everything filmed ready to check out the episode, but it was horrible to sit on. Um, it's, it was something I, I completely missed out. I've, I've, I've never made a seat before, so I, I don't know. Um, so yeah, the, the edges of the, the base were obviously quite sharp, um, and the, the high density foam that I covered the, the seat it just, it wasn't um, tough enough. Um, it just wouldn't take my weight, shall we say. So it compressed up and then obviously the edges just, you know, they came through the sponge and it was just, it was just really sharp and it was just uncomfortable. Um, I wasn't too happy with the look. Um, so I just decided to start over. Um, I guess it's a bit of a, it's a learning curve. So... The good thing is, you guys get to see how I've improved. So, fingers crossed, this works out for the better. Uh, so yeah, I've gone a, a different way about it this time. Um, instead of using a, a complete high um, high density foam for the for the seat, I've gone for like a, an EVO, EVA foam for the base, um, and I've rounded off the corners of the the base seat. So it's going to be a lot more comfortable now, um, and obviously the EVA foam, EVA foam, Jesus Christ, EVA foam is going to be a lot tougher and denser. So it's yeah, it's going to be a bit more robust and not kind of compressed and nothing. Um, so yeah, let's let's crack on. I'll and I'll show you how it's done. <laughs>
is now stuck down and it's not going anywhere. Um, I've sorted all these problems out with the sharp edges, so I'm not going to get stabbed in the cheeks anymore. Um, so yeah, the CVA foam is just it's following the contour of the seat, so these edges are just really chunky and squidgy. So yeah, should be comfortable. Um, you can also see I've got my cardboard template here. So what I need to do now, because I need a bit of bulk up front and at the back of the seat, I need to build this up. So what I'm going to do is just add some more EVA foam kind of layers, build it up and at the back too. Um, then use, I think I'll just like sand it down and then put a top cover of foam on with a selection of craft foams that I've purchased. So I've got thin stuff, I think I'll probably use that for later. Um, I've got some thicker stuff and then I've got some really thick stuff. So this is real high density foam, which is what I initially use, but it's just, it's not, yeah, it's not tough enough, if you get what I'm saying. Um, so yeah, I've got a mixture of them. Um, and we'll, we'll kind of, as we go along, we'll, we'll, we'll see what's best. Right, you're probably wondering what on earth this madness is. Um, there is a plan, there is a plan. Believe me, there is a plan. Um, it'll look good in the final product. I know. So I've spent the last two, three hours cutting all these, these shapes. Um, so we'll start with from. So all this lot has been cut to contour the tank and also I want a bit of a, a body from the side profile up to the tank. Um, so that's all done now and what I need to do is just heat form, well heat the EVA foam and form it around the seat so it's it just kind of it holds its shape while I'm gluing it down. Uh, same for the rear as well, I just need to, as I said, heat form it and then wrap it and glue it around the seat. Um, once that's all done, I can start shaping um, the seat. Uh, I'm not sure, well I, I do know I'm going to do, I'm going to attack it with the, the grinder and a flap disc. Um, it worked okay on the, hang on, it worked okay on this stuff. Um, I'm not sure how it's going to work on this stuff because um, it's a bit rubbery. But I mean it's, I've, I've sanded down parts with a bit of aggressive sandpaper and it seems to sand down okay. Um, so yeah, let's see how it goes. You know, done it once already. Let's give it another try. looking pretty good now um, yeah the shapes kind of there the forms kind of there what I'm going for so I'm gonna taper this out a bit more once we've got all glued down uh, the back <laughs> it just looks like a sad I don't know I'm not even sure what it looks like it just <laughs> at this point it just doesn't look like much at all um, it will get better I'm sure it will so the top ones they're not that they're not formed that much but then again they're the last ones so yeah so so yeah let's just crack on get it all stuck down <laughs>
seat count revisit. It looks a bit of a mess, I know, but the form is there. So next week I'll begin sculpting all this out, shaping it, and then I'll add the sponge, whichever I choose to put on it, just for, for the comfort. And then obviously I've got, to, I've got to put a layer of sponge over the back of the cow as well, because obviously when this is all done, it's just going to be covered in uh, a leather or whatever I choose to put on it, I don't know. So yeah. So thank you for watching and tune in next week where we'll carry on with the seat cow and seat, seat cow, seat, whatever you want to call it. Thank you to the new subscribers, greatly appreciated, thank you for coming along and uh, I'll see you next week.